All right, well, I guess that is what it is. All right. So, guys, here we go. I'm going to show you a little bit of a <clears throat> lozenge. A little sore throat going on. Got cold out. Real cold. All right. So, we are going to make a terrarium. First things first. What we have to decide is what we're going to use as a pock. I already made the decision. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo, boo. All right. So it's dirty, obviously, so you can see. <laughs> Give it a good, quick little clean. This is a quick and dirty, guys. This is not something that I'm planning ahead. Um, I don't even know what this is going to look like, if it's going to turn out okay. This is my first attempt in, God, over a year. So, hope it's okay. <laughs> we'll see. Dumping out the old trash. What's that? This is a very small... Um, flat ad there. I think I got this for like about let's say sixteen dollars. Steins. Wow, it's better on a flat surface, obviously. So we're gonna get rid of that actually. Do it right on the flat surface. Wow, hydration. Okay, um, I've got a big thing of dirt here, as you can see. I've got a an empty one. So we can do some mixing. Um, and what else you got here? You can see the phone, the other, <laughs> your other angle, if you will. I always have some uh, paper towel and some tape, which I have around here somewhere, and some towels, just regular clothy towels. Okay, so, boom. First things first. We need to put some stones in this puppy. Drainage. That's the most important, one of the most important things. Everything that you put in this uh, terrarium, you need, every time you water it, and you won't be watering it often at all because these are succulent, succulent plants, you don't water a lot. They're from the desert. They don't get a lot of water. So when they, you let them dry out, once they're dry as a bone, give it a good amount of water, just like a big flooding in Arizona, and then nothing for a long time. Like it dries out, and then once it's dry as a bone, Flooding, blah, 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 so on. That's what we're going to do here, but it always needs drainage. What does that mean? Well, this, you will see, does not have any holes at the bottom of it, right? No, no holes. Um, so water that you put in here is going to remain in here. That's the amazing thing about a terrarium. It's its very own ecosystem. You create it, and then it sustains itself. You hardly ever have to water this puppy. I mean, some of them, the ones that are enclosed, you sometimes never have to water them because you watered it, right? And then the condensation creates a moisture up here, clouds. And then that condensation that gathers up here begins to drip back down the sides and down and what have you, rain. And then it all starts over again. It keeps going back and forth, so it's always... You know, it's it's a very own ecosystem. It's exactly what it is. So again, this does not have holes in it. Water that we put in will not drain. What we have to do is put rocks at the bottom so that whenever we water this, right, like I said, the flash flood in Arizona, um, it will pour to the bottom. It'll sop everything, get everything super wet, and then it'll drain to the bottom. And the important part is that it doesn't just sit there and remain wet in the soil. Because eventually, this soil, if it just sits there in wetness, is going to get moldy. Okay? It's going to get super white and gross um, and moldy. So then you get root rot, and that kills everything. So hence the stones at the bottom. Again, this is a quick, quick and dirty terrarium we're gonna do here. I'm just going to literally throw whatever stones I can find 
<laughs> out of my old dirt. This is old dirt, by the way. This is dirt that I am, um, <laughs> I recycled from other plants. You will see bits of everything in there. In fact, there are bits of my grandmother in here. I know that's creepy, but it's the truth. <laughs> All right, moving along. Um, All right, so I'm just going to keep doing this for a bit. Now, as you'll notice, I'm putting these in here very gently. This is glass, right? If I drop them in there, it is more than likely, and it will because I've done it plenty of times, shatter the glass, which ruins it. Um, you will see bits of what? Glass, beads, you know, this. I've got burlap in there, charcoal, you name it. Now, typically what I would do is I would take a burlap bag and cut a circle and put it in there. Just the perfect size, right about there. Even, well, maybe even, maybe try it without. Oh boy. I'm really gonna just guesstimate this. Let it look how it looks. Smallest scissors ever. These are old bonsai uh, scissors. I've got a newer set, a couple newer sets actually. These are all old and rusted, so. <laughs> Again, I want this to look somewhat rustic, so I don't care if it's dirty or messy or not perfect. I want it to look like it's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be, you know, weatherized, if you will, and natural. So it's not a good fit. See that? Which is okay. Because I know this is the front, I'm going to cater more to that side. So what I'll do is check out that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now we go with some handfuls. Actually, move this out of the way here. Take an empty bucket. There we go. The old dirt. I'm gonna do this here. Don't have as many rocks, but more of the uh, burlap in there. That's all right. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm separating it because I need to wet this down. It's a lot easier to work with. It's wet down. saturated it so that might have added too much yeah too much just keep going sop some of that out hopefully this will rejuvenate the dirt as well because it's been stagnant just sitting in the dead plants down here for god too long so don't do this at home folks buy some dirt it's not expensive or go out in your garden and get some now, truthfully, what you should do for succulents is get succulent dirt, right? It's cactus dirt. Buy that anywhere, right? You could probably get even at a good local grocery store, but definitely not targets. Well, maybe not anymore in the winter, but you have a Steins. Okay, so I did that.
All right. Yikes. All right. Well, let's see what we do here. So what I do is I take it, I clump it, so it doesn't go all over it, and I have a little control. I just pat it down. Not, not a lot, just nice and light. So I'm just covering everything up top so you can't see anything below it. You can't see the burlap of the rocks. Again, I'm not put, I'm not patting it down really hard, otherwise it's too dense, and uh, nothing, no no um, roots will be able to grow. All right, let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. Bought these online, twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine for twenty five cuttings. Not sure if they were worth it or not, because they were literally just snapped off, and I'm not sure these are gonna root. A little bummer, but I'm literally just gonna place these here. This won't stay, which is good because it's got a little bit longer root or stem that could grow a root. Put some that. I'm gonna build around it. Okay, so both hands in there. Just literally lump some dirt around it. Okay, not a bad idea to take a rock. Maybe support. You'll notice it's going to get a little misty in here. Okay, that's okay. That's what paper towels for. Eventually we'll go in there at the end and clean it all up real nice. Okay. Alright, what is next? Sweet though. Okay, same deal. Just put that right there. All right, let's grab some more. We're gonna need actually. We might as well just have covered the bottom with this. Sure. Before I stick them in there, I should snip just the littlest bit. Actually. I hate to do this, but to make the stem longer, okay, I snipped the bottom, but now I'm going to pull these off. Oh, I don't want to root it, so I'm just going to snip them with my bonsai tool here, as close as I can, as quick as I can, that was not a good one, probably should have used my fingers, oh, well, there's that, so now... I'm going to use it to stick that in a little bit deeper. Oh, there's rocks everywhere. Wow. See, I'm usually a lot more prepared, but... Okay. And I'm, I am pushing down around it to tighten it quite a bit. So don't, you know, when I said earlier, don't pack it down. Don't pack it all down, but pack it down around... The plants that you're planting. This is cool too. It's kind of low. Let's see. What about? Ooh. Yeah, let's do this guy. 
That's kind of neat. It's nothing really shiny in there. It's that green one that's similar, but a different color. So we're going to snip it. There we go. Just a little bit. So there's going to be some root growth. I'm going to use it to stick that in a little bit deeper. Oh, there's rocks everywhere. Wow. See, I'm usually a lot more prepared. And then I am pushing down around it to tighten it quite a bit. So don't, you know, when I said earlier, don't pack it down. Don't pack it all down, but pack it down around the plants that you're planting. This is cool too. It's kind of low. Let's see. What about... Yeah, let's do this guy. That's kind of neat. You don't see any of these anywhere in here. Ooh, and they've got the... Okay, these are cool because... They've got roots that actually will grow outward. <laughs> I have no idea what any of these are called. I'm just, you know. <sighs> okay, anyway, let's snip. Just a touch there, see that? Just a little bit. Ah, shit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more wetness. I think the reason that I like terrarium so much is because when I was a teenager, my buddy um, had a book, and he claimed that it was a nonfiction book, and it had spells in it, and one of the spells were you could make your own world in a glass ball. I mean, with creatures living in homes of their making and things like this. Um, I don't know if you've seen the homunculus, homunculus, whatever that thing is, online. I think it's a bunch of BS myself, but it's, I love the, you know, it's intriguing. It's, I love the concept. Um, so similar to that, I guess, but its own ecosystem living by itself, feeding itself, all these different things. All right, I'm going to add one more thing here. Let's do this one. Wow. That is funky. Look at that. That's cool. A little closer, I guess. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. Boop. Put this guy in the outskirts back there a little bit. Using two of my phones to tape this. Um, got my new Galaxy Note 8 up there, and my old Galaxy Note 4 down there. Never done it before. You shall see how it works. No idea. I'm gonna sync it up. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I hope. Oh, man, I hope that's. There's not a long stem on that sucker at all. Oh boy. So again, I use a rock as a little ledge to lean on, and I push it just a touch. Get some more stuff around it there. Hey, mother. Lighten that guy out a touch. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I did not put any wet below him. Get out of there, dude. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. I mean, we can add more, but I, I want these to go and see if there's that are going to live. And I will keep you guys posted. And um, if they do live, I'll let you know where I bought them from online for $20. Um, and get 25 of them, which is pretty rad, again, if it works. Um, I won't get bad reviews, so I'll only get the good ones. Salt and a silver, tell me that one. Anyhow, um, I will be teetering with this. Of course, things are going to fall over, and uh, I'm going to, um, you know, I'll have to play with it a bit. But once I have everything settled, and I know it's not tipping over anymore, 
which will be a little bit of an ongoing battle. Oh, fuck. Oops. Beep. Okay. That's that. Now, <clears throat> I usually like to put a rock in there, a big rock or some moss or something. I'm not going to. I'm keeping this as simple as possible, again, just to see how the plants do. always have a spray bottle with room temperature water. Okay, now I'm going to go in there and spray each plant real nice, get the dirt off of it, get some dampness in there. I know that there is some wet water, but <clears throat> I want some water on the plants. I'm trying to get the dirt and mud, I, you know, as I touch them throughout. I've got some dirt on them, so I'm spraying it off. this stuff because if you go too crazy you're going to be bumping other stuff other plants like i just did all right so i'm going to leave this that looks great to me i hope you guys can see it okay so i've got those oh, they're all succulents so i won't need a lot of watering i won't water it again for days um and i will keep you guys posted how it works and where to get them if it does work out again 20 bucks for 25 of them it's pretty sweet i'm gonna clean up this mess and first one done that is the easy one they're gonna get better trust me i mean i'll have stuff like you know situated and ready and give you some tidbits because i've done hundreds of these um but this was just to show you that hey it's that simple just throw it together if you got it you got it do it peace <laughs>